So, hey, I was making this video for my Quantum Fitness Part 3, and I thought this would also be good for anyone else who is who is really working on becoming the real version of themselves. You know, that, that ideal version that you see in your mind, like the potential that you know that you could realize if you, you know, had the resources or the opportunity, right? But one thing I've learned about opportunity is that it does not come from opportunity. It comes from consistency. It comes out of the day-to-day -day routine of practicing becoming yourself, which means that we all have this ideal, this version of ourselves that we know we could get to, or we wouldn't even be able to imagine it but it feels over there. And everyone asks me, so how do I get from here to over there? And we, we think that it's like some sort of quantum leap, you know, that's like some big opportunity, some, something's gonna drop in your lap, someone's gonna come and rescue you, or someone's gonna come and make it all better, fix everything, and it never, ever, how it works. How it works, if you really look back on the mastery that you have created up until this point, how it actually works is when you work on your craft, which is becoming the real you, when you are studying it, practicing it, you know, preparing for it, and duplicating it over and over and over again. It is in the boring routine of becoming you consistently that deprograms the old you, reprograms the new you into the subconscious. And only, only when that becomes automatic, when the body can act as this version of yourself, is when the opportunities come knocking. Because the opportunities are a result of the state of being that you are creating on a day-to-day -day routine. Not the version of you that has to get ready for the opportunity, but the version of you that's been ready. The, ver the version of you that stayed consistent when everybody else was you know, caught up in instant gratification. The version of you that was getting up earlier and working towards embetterment of your physical, your emotional, your mental aspects. The version of you that was doing what they know they should be doing and not doing what they should what they've been doing that has gotten them in this this kind of path and that's my question for you right now if we're gonna make small little jumps that create big leaps and you don't want to work so hard over there then you got to work every day at being the best version of yourself now whatever that looks like performer, athlete, artist, teacher, mentor, whatever, what does that look like and what is that going to take to make it automatic? Because only when it becomes an automatic version of you, which means no willpower required. You're not struggling, what am I supposed to eat? What am I supposed to do? You know, your body can automatically show up as this new improved version of yourself. Only then will you manifest the opportunities, the people, places, and things that are a match to that. Because we always think that we're just waiting for these opportunities to happen, to give us the potential to become ourselves. Well, I gotta get more money to go to the gym. I gotta get, you know, like more educated about food. No, you don't. You literally have to just do what you can do from where you are with the mindset that you're practicing, preparing, and playing out this version of yourself. And here's my final question for you to really sit with. And that is, what should you be doing that you're not doing? And what should you stop doing that you are doing? And I don't like the word should, like don't should on yourself. But when it comes to really being sick and tired of sick and tired, like being sick and tired of where you are, and you're getting really frustrated, and the fear of discomfort of where you are going to be you know, in a year from now outweighs the fear of looking stupid and starting over and starting at the bottom. Nobody wants to be a rookie. Everybody wants to be in the main show. 
everyone wants to be in the big time, everyone wants to go, you know, be all that they are without the groundwork. Like, look at how much time you've been spending at your old version. And look at your manifestations. They might appear to be getting better, but aren't they laced with the same old bull? Right? Aren't they laced with the same old issues and problems? Are you really creating a better caliber of people into your life? Better opportunities? Are your circumstances sticking? Or are they coming in and ghosting away? So my question for you is, what should you be doing that you're not doing daily? Right? Or maybe altogether. And what should you stop doing that you know you shouldn't be doing that is interfering with this version of yourself? Right? Look at the people, places, and things in your life right now. Would that version of you be hanging out, doing, saying, speaking, eating, living with this version? If not, it has to start here. Because the vibration turns into a frequency. Once it's a frequency, it's an automatic sequence. The sequence then moves you into a higher floor. Like starting off on the fifth floor and you're wanting to live in the penthouse where the penthouse people are and the penthouse food and the penthouse money. But you're behaving like the fifth floor. You're complaining about the guy with cement shoes above you. You know, you're complaining about the smell down below. Yet, what are you doing to get up to the top, it happens in the early moments, the late moments, the in-between moments, which means that you build your new reality inside your old one. And you do that with every break, every stoplight, every early hour, every moment that you have an opportunity to practice, prepare, and play. So we don't wait because there is no waiting in the universe. There is only alignment. And when you're waiting, the universe waits with you. And if you wait long enough, you become heavy. And when you become heavy, you become critical and judgmental. And therefore, it is more fun for you to focus on comparison and judgment of what other people are living, doing, and saying than doing it yourself. Because, well, we all have those excuses and we all use those excuses. So if you've made it through quantum fitness up to part three, you are definitely here with me right now where I am and we are in it to win it and that means every moment of every day. So if I have 10 minutes on my way to get my son from school and I have this idea of what I am experiencing other people going through at this time, which is what I've experienced through for years, why not share it? So, get consistent, right? Keep your own word to yourself. Be loyal to yourself. Focus on the challenges that you have potential to solve right now. The problems that are too far, surrender it. Work on what you can today. Practice, prepare, play. Stop doing things that you know you shouldn't do it. Start doing things you know you should. And January comes. You don't need a resolution. You are on track and you are imprinting your new data into your subconscious so your subconscious knows who you are and begins to behave as if without you needing willpower. And this is how it really works.